game. That's gonna definitely. I, I can play the game. I can read people. Okay. That's that's like what's that's what's gonna get me through. I mean that's. That's my strength. Okay, as far as Big Brother, had you seen the show oh, prior? 12, all 12 seasons. You've I'm seen a, all yeah, 12? I'm a fan, I'm a, a big fan. Had you ever watched the live feeds, oh, anything I, behind the scenes? I never watched the live feeds okay. or anything behind the scenes, but I, it's, you know, it's everything new. So as far as the person, the house guest that you think you're most like, who would you say you're most similar to? Uh, I, <laughs> or what trend, or you know, what certain uh, personality features? I would say, if I had to say, well, I, like I would never want to compare myself to somebody, but the gameplay that I like to mm -hmm. to definitely play would be like Evil Dick. I mean, I I don't I don't really like what he stood for, but right. he played the game great. He re he ran the house. He intimidated people. He you know he was able to reverse make people you know uh, influence people. That's what he was able okay. to do. And a, as an HR professional, that's what I do. I have to have you know be able to influence people right. to change decisions and things like that. So I loved his play. Uh, Did, would you play it that severely? Would you uh, intimidate? No, heck, no, I would. No. Never, I definitely wouldn't play it that severely because okay. I'm a people person. I don't like to talk about people or, or you know call people out on their religion and things like that. That's just right. not me. But I, I want to you know play it to where I'm can run the house and rule without you know uh, you know in the background not, not being that dirty speaking of religion I saw in your biography here that it said something about the Bible are you very a religious absolutely I'm an ordained deacon in my church that's like a youth youth minister uh, you know for over 10 years okay and I'm in the church you know three days out of seven and God is the head of my life and, mm -hmm. and, and you know you could you could be a Christian and religious and play this game and win and just right. keep your moral values and keep your Christian faith so yeah that's gonna get me through as well so when you go through this game are you gonna be playing with your principles from your religion in the game or is it something that you can put aside and uh, say this is just a game there's you know cer is there a line you know there, there's a line you know I, I'm, I'm gonna always play with my Christian principles and my morals I'm not gonna uh, be cursing I'm not gonna be you know okay. dogging people out like that but I, I'm gonna backstab but I'm gonna do it a different kind of way I, okay. who's ever in my alliance I'm gonna have them doing it I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just be whispering and they're gonna do the dirty work so it doesn't so my the blood will be off my hands you know so when you are in the house would you say that everyone's gonna know that you're religious or you're gonna be reading the Bible uh, yeah. I guess religiously yeah. <laughs> I would read the Bible. I'm going to pray, but I'm not like going to be like a browbeater, like, "Hey, okay. you curse, you're a sinner. Hey, right. you drink, you're a sinner." Because guess what? I plan on hooking up, and that's not always. Okay, yeah. so you expect to find a romance in here? Yeah, absolutely. What's I your mean, type? Uh, I like white girls. Blonde, white girls. Blonde hair, blue eyes, red, red hair, hair, green eyes, brunettes. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, I, that's what I like. I mean, okay. if we got some hot Jen from uh, BB8. Jen is like, oh, she was so super hot, man. If well, I'm sure she's like, watching. So oh, <laughs> if she if she was in there, if she was there, help. <laughs> please, can't call me, come back on the show, twist, please, let her be the twist. Um, I, yeah, I really dig her. She, I don't understand why the guys didn't like her in the house. And mm -hmm. if she, if, if I had a roommate like that that was walking around and had her ass hanging out and things like that, that would have been like, oh, I mean, that's what I want to see. So this is a game of diverse personalities, and I'm mm -hmm. sure you're going to find tons of people from different backgrounds. Sure. What kind of people drive you crazy, and will you not get along with? Um, loud, obnoxious people, like those who just think that they're like overly confident, like cocky, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm this, I'm that. I may not get along with them, but. As far as like religious and you know you may have homosexuals and things like that, I, that doesn't bother me. I, I'm okay. more bothered by somebody who's a big mouth and okay. you know who tries to run things and tell people it's going to happen like this is going to you're going to do it this way you're going to do it that way. That I, that's going to you know that might set me off. But I'm, I don't I, as far as any anything else for me, I'm cool with that. Well, I see similarities between you and I don't remember if, I don't know if you remember Ollie. Ollie I knew yes. you were going to say that. And he hooked up with yeah, April, April, the yeah, blonde. Yeah, yeah. Is that is that? And he also was a Bible. Sure, his, his, his parents were was a. Uh, yeah, his dad and his mom would have How are you different? Uh, I look better, definitely. <laughs> I, I'm better looking. Hope he's not watching. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold strong to my religion. If, if, if you, if you remember, he was quiet and he, you know, he lay low and he was, you know. But as soon as the, you know, the, he, his back was against the wall, he started cursing and, you know, calling out, acting totally outside of himself. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that's not me. I don't, I don't want to let go. I don't want to like. Get into a situation to where I, you know, I, I threw my faith and swept it under the rug. Like, and it seems like every time they get a Christian person on the show, they do that. Jamika did it in season eight. She was supposed right. to be so Christian. She let evil dick get under her, and she's cursing him out. Ali did it in his season. He was all this, and then something mm -hmm. got under him, and he started cursing. That ain't gonna be me. Okay. You know, I, I, I believe that 
That's how Ollie really was. He pulled the fast one over on Big Brother and made it look like, oh, I'm this church guy, I'm this. So when he when he went off like that, that's how he probably really was. Okay. Same with Jamika. She when when she, when when Dick you know pulled her from under the rug and exposed I just remember her. remember the snapping. Yeah, she. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she started clapping. And guess what? She started cursing and carrying on. That's how she really was. Okay. Now me on the other hand, what you see is what you get. I'm not gonna nothing gonna make me lose my religion, make me lose my faith because I'm you know I'm just I'm so so deep into this thing like with, with, with God and my religion and my faith and I'm gonna just make sure. That I stay prayed up and stay covered. As so, far as the first HOH, win it or throw it? Uh, I probably, because I have a foolproof strategy, in order for me to get my, uh, align my team, I have to, I probably have to win the first HOH so I get my alliance going. And, and, uh, and, if once I get my alliance going, then I, so I'll probably want to win it. Are you going to play strong when you go in? Because you uh, say, my, get my team together. Are you yeah. going to try to align as soon as you go Absolutely. in? Absolutely. I have, I have to do that. I Who mean, are you looking for? What okay, kind of people? check this out. Like, I got a foolproof strategy. Okay. okay. I'm going to align myself with three girls. We're going to call ourselves Keith's Angels, okay? Okay. And the reason why I'm going to align myself with girls is because girls can manipulate God. Okay. So each of us are going to have many alliances. So one girl is going to have, be aligned with two people. Another one's going to be aligned with two people. I'm going to be aligned with two people. And the other people are going to be aligned. The last girl is going to be aligned with two people. And then the four of us are going to pick out which people we want to pick off week by week. Okay. So it's not about being winning every single competition. It's about you, you know that? power persuasion. Can you who can you manipulate? Because at the end of the day, why do I want to be standing next to a guy who's just as strong as me or even stronger than me? I want to be standing next to one of those girls that can manipulate and walk me right through the finish line. Especially if she's white and blonde. Oh man, yeah, and, and that's why I'm gonna get her in my alliance because I'm gonna have my cake and eat it too. She's gonna be my showman and she's gonna rock me straight to the finish line. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a good summer. That sounds like an interesting strategy. We'll see if it comes to pass. As far as we're gonna play a quick game, it's called this or that. I'll mm -hmm. give you two things. I want you to tell me which one best is you. Okay. Okay? And you can interpret them as you want. Okay. Vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla. Twitter or Facebook? Facebook. Justin Bieber or Lady Gaga? Uh, Lady Gaga. <laughs> Liberal or conservative? Uh, conservative. Love or lust? Lust. Fight or walk away? Walk away. And $500,000 grand prize or new best friend for life? $500,000 grand prize. <laughs> Let's be honest, you're here for the money. Yeah. All right. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. I want you to tell this camera why America should root for you this season. Okay. America needs to root for me this season because I got everything. I'm charming. I'm going to get a, uh, an alliance together. We're going to put on a, 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 a good, you're gonna, we're going to have a good summer. You're going to see me hook up. You're going to see me have lots of fun and be, and I'm just going to be entertaining and just live out the Big Brother experience. Keith, we love BigBrother.com. We'll speak with you again when you get voted out or when you win the game. When I win the game. Good luck to you. We'll be watching. <laughs> See you later.